As, a, as someone who, I, I write a, a, an advice column, it always sounds like a joke when I say that out loud, so I'm gonna try to keep a straight face, but that is what I get paid to do, and I'm constantly on the hunt for uh, films about breakups, which is very different than a film that is a romantic comedy, in my opinion, that I love stories about people going through heartbreak and uh, the relationships they form while going through that heartbreak. So I just wanted to ask sort of, you know, all of your films are really relationship films. I mean, that's sort of at the heart. And, and uh, what films come to mind, you know, that influenced you in terms of, you know, being relationship movies? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I love relationship comedies. Uh, I always have, um, you know, uh, I, I mean, immediately High Fidelity comes to mind. Uh, I Talking think that's a, 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 that's a great breakup movie. I mean, it's just great. Um, uh, but all, you know, all, all over the place. Um, uh, you know, I was thinking a lot about my um, daughter, strangely enough, uh, making this film and John Hughes. We were watching, she's 12, and we've been, uh, we'd started watching John Hughes. Um, and uh, I was thinking, I want to make something that's sort of uh, a, in, that, in that sort of territory, but, you know, uh, where it's ultimately not about the guy at all. Um, uh, so John Hughes was a big influence, especially on, on, on this one. Well, I, one movie that came to mind in that last scene was Say Anything, where there's that deep breath at the end and being on a flight and yet to see it um, in a different picture with three women uh, you know, in those seats, it was, it was uh, it's very exciting that it explores female friendship as, as much as it does romance. Well, yeah, th thank you. There's one, I mean, I, I like the idea that uh, one of the uh, biggest characters in this story is someone that we only meet briefly at the beginning and the end. And then in the middle, Keith Stanfield's character is sort of like just a projection of her imagination, which is, uh, um, so it's more like of an internal thing than, uh, you know, it's really about, I mean, I, I like breakup stories, I do. Uh, and, and to me, like part of the story of a, uh, of a breakup is when it, you know, it's over, but you don't feel done. And, uh, and trying to get past, like, you, there's no one to talk to anymore, but this thing is still, like, you're still processing. How do you, like, sort of dramatize that? Thank you for that question. That's, uh, uh, the question was, like, did I ever intend to show any of her creative work or creative uh, process in the film? And to me, um, I felt like I was showing some of her process in the fantasies with her ex, kind of like, I think in my mind, Jessica's work is very much like comes from her life. And uh, like, and when we see her those are imagined dialogues with uh, her ex. So to me, that's it a little bit. Like that's her work to, I mean, in some sort of form, like that's her voice to, in some sort of form. But uh, apart from that, I, you know, I think it's tricky to tell stories about writers in general and uh, how to make that interesting. Um, and yeah, that was as close as I wanted to get to it because otherwise it can get really kind of, um, you know, not just not very cinematic or not very fun to watch. I, I made a film uh, uh, a couple of years ago and Jessica had a supporting part in it and I'd been a fan of hers forever. Uh, as soon as, I'm a fan of The Daily Show and as soon as she um, appeared on The Daily Show, I just uh, was just enamored with her right away. I just thought her, She's just uh, so fast. And, um, and the topic she was covering on The Daily Show was just like everything about her was just, just felt really exciting and fresh. Like, what a voice. Um, and, uh, and then I met her, and we got to work together a little bit, and it was just fun. I just felt there was this um, easiness, kind of. And... Uh, 
you, you know, I said I said afterwards, I think I'm I'm going to I'm going to write something for you. And uh, she said, well, you know, go ahead. I'll read it. Uh, and I just, you know, it was like the at the beginning of every day and thinking about it was like, honestly, the first consideration was what would it be fun to see Jessica do? Not Jessica Williams, but like Jessica, this character. But Jessica, the talent that I know that she has, what would be fun? Uh, what situation would be fun to see her in? And that was kind of like motivation while writing it the whole time.